I'm here with a band called The New Bees on the Mat, and they're here to perform their hit album, Rock and Tape Diagrams. Let's hear it for The New Bees on the Mat. Yay! I'm here with Bee Sum. Bee Sum is one part of the band. He's pretty awesome. Yay! And Be More. He's the other part of the band. Let's hear it for Be More. Ooh, yeah! And Be All is the lead singer, the best dancer. He represents both parts of the band. Let's hear it for Be All. Ooh, yeah! And the newbies are here to help us to model story problems by using a tape diagram. So. For their latest album, we all wrote 14 songs. B Sum has a dance solo on eight songs, and B More has a dance solo on the rest of the songs. Use the newbies to show how many songs B More has a dance solo on. So what we can do is we are going to draw a tape diagram to help us model this problem. To draw a tape diagram for this situation, I draw a rectangle, I cut it in half, and then I split the bottom into two parts, which I'm going to label with the letter P, and my top represents the whole. So in our problem B, all, wrote all the songs, that's my whole, so 14 is my whole. B, sung, had a dance solo on eight, and I have no idea how many songs that B, more, had a dance solo on. But we are going to have some first graders tell us how they figured it out. So the newbies have now set up this problem as a tape diagram where one part is eight, the other part we don't know, but we know they all make 14. So Aaliyah, can you put B all where you think it belongs? Okay, Aaliyah puts B all on 14. And what she is going to do is she's going to take eight away. So she is going to hit eight backwards and we're gonna see where B all lands so this problem was set up as a subtraction takeaway problem great job we can also look at this problem like an addition problem can you return B all to his spot? Great job. All right, Natalie, if you could grab B sum and place him where he belongs. So instead of looking at this as a subtraction problem, we can look at it as a missing add and addition problem. Sawyer, can you grab B more? Okay, make sure you X them out. All right, Sawyer, how many spaces do you need to move to get from eight to 14? Can you go to the other side of the map? Great, so I'm gonna start at eight and I gotta get to 14. So how many spaces do I need to go? Can you count it for me? So Sawyer counted six spaces he needed to go. So 14 minus eight is six, or eight plus six gets me to 14. Great job. and I crossed out eight because it said to cross out eight. Then I saw that there were six left. I like how you drew the 10 out of your 14 as a 10 frame. I like how in your drawing, Natalie, you did f groups of five. But I started with eight and, and, and I added on six to to get to 14. 